Hi, my name is Molly Childs. Hi, I'm Jessica Wynn. And today we're going to talk about time management in the library. So, Ms. Wynn, when you organize your time, do you do it one week at a time by month? How do, or, how, oh, or do you try to plan for the entire year and make changes when necessary? So, um, that's a really great question. So, uh, it depends on what goal we're talking about. So, of course, I have my daily activities that I have to do, checking email, you know, servicing the, the kids. Um, but as far as like programming goes, um, we try to, we, we collaborate throughout the district and we, we've been trying to plan um, activities uh, up to, we've, we've planned up to about like, about a semester. Um, we do have a couple of larger events that we've already started planning. So, for example, we're doing a poetry slam and we're also doing a um, matchbook tournament. It's on the um, that we, you know, uh, I'm sorry, I'm like, <laughs> I think you froze for a second too and that like threw me off because I was like, you weren't like, your eyes were closed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so basically, if for larger events, we'll plan out the entire year. For um, basic like pro weekly programming, we try to do at least a couple of months in advance, um, up to a semester, depending on what the programming is. And then for book talks, joining classes, um, you know, just collaboration with teachers, I am their servant. So I do whatever schedule they need, I accommodate to them. So if they contact me and plan for something in Jan January right now, and I'm like, great, January it is. Or if they contact me and say, hey, if you're not busy, is there any way you could pop in tomorrow? Then, you know, I, I try not to go that way, but if, if I can and they need it, then I'm willing to do whatever the teacher needs to accommodate their schedule. That's wonderful to hear. So besides setting up um, any activities or programs that go full year, when you try to manage your time effectively, do you tend to keep a calendar where other people can um, add to it? Google Docs, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? So whenever we're in the actual building on a typical school year, like for the past 12 years when I've been in the building, um, I set up, so Microsoft doesn't have the equivalent to what Google has. So once we changed to a Microsoft district, luckily Google let me keep my calendar format because what I did is I created um, booking slots. Like on each calendar has a class period for each day and teachers can log in with um, older teachers who've been there for a while, have a Google account linked to their Fort Bend account. But new teachers just can either create a new account or I can just send it to their personal one and they can uh, hop on and book the library and they have a little slot to put what they need and um, it works out very well. Wonderful and with the virtual setting when teachers are wanting to collaborate how are they reaching out to you right now and how are you going about collaborating? Um, so email is our our main uh, you know source of communication and then we also have Schoology which um, for some reason there's a glitch now and it kicked all the teachers out. So I had to reach back out to the teachers so that they could um, be put back in. Um, but I use Schoology and email mostly. Wonderful. And then any advice or tips you would give for a new librarian and managing time? I know when I first start with something, I feel like I need to have everything done that first week. How would you, what advice would you give for me? My advice, actually the librarian who I took the position of, who had been a librarian for 20 something years, she said, no matter how many hours you work during the day, there's always gonna be more that you could do or that you wanna do. And she said, you have to make yourself stop. So don't, don't take it home with you. And, um, you know, especially being a librarian, build on what we've already got and so, um, I think that, um, you know, just keeping a calendar, Microsoft calendar is, is the best for me. I, I put every single thing that I get in there um, so that I'll get a pop up that tells me, you know, what I'm doing. But um, as far as managing my time, I mean, I just try to uh, keep lists and, you know, put it on the calendar. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you for taking the time out to speak with me. Thank you.